Hello, my lovely viewers. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, CD Cat in the building. All right, today I want to show you how to make that flare gown. A flare gown with turtle neck. You can see the neck is a standing collar. You can call it turtle neck. Anyhow, I just want to show you. I've made a video on how to make a flare gown, a full flare gown before, but this is also a flare gown, but it will not be that full. You can see they use a belt to pack the the flare. Do you get it? So, but this one will be very detailed and very simple, very, very simple to cut. You can sew this type of style for a pregnant woman. So, uh, you, you're you going to remove that belt if the pregnant woman is going to put it on. You know, mostly flare, 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 flare of a pain is always good for uh, a pregnant person so that the baby will walk, will move freely in the tummy. So, now let's get started. But before I go further, please don't forget to continue liking, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. So for this, you just have to what, put your clothes. You can see the way I'm holding the clothes. Just put it in a bias form. Are you seeing it? Just put it in a bias form this way. Put it in a bias form. Just to get the length of the clothes. Put it in a bias form to get the length of the clothes. This is the folding. As you can see, the material I'm using for this um, style is a lycra material. It's drawing. The measurements needed for this type of style, you need your shoulder measurements, the sleeve measurements, the bust measurements. You don't need the waist measurements. Just the length, the back, and the sleeve measurements. Are you getting me? So because it is a lycra material I'm using, our uh, normal length is what 59 inches. So I have to deduct like 2 inches away. Because it is a light right to surely draw the uh, drop down, even without 57 um, inches. I'm using it, might still need uh, I would still need to cut it out because you know I will still fold and also cut it out if it is too much. Are you getting me now? So, if it's if you are sewing anything that is like right material, you don't need to start adding any additional allowance to it with 57 inches is okay. So I've managed to from the length of the clothes, which is 57 inches I'm using here. So on top of that 57 inches, you move downward to the shoulder measurement, which is here. So you have to just measure here. Shoulder measurements. Now measure it downward. Sorry, my truck is not showing it because it's a lycra material. This is the shoulder. On top of the shoulder, you confirm, you check your shoulder measurement. Our shoulder is what? Our shoulder, our back measurement is 17. But because of this style, you know it is a joint material, I will reduce one inch from it. I'm going to use what? Um, that 17 is 8.5 minus one. I'm going to make it um, 15 inches is okay. Okay, that's 16 inches. This is 16 inches. Are you seeing it? So on top of this length, of, on top of the shoulder measurement, I'm going to measure the arm O measurement. Actually, a arm O should be nine inches. I'm going to use it, all because it's a drawing material. So on top of the arm O measurement, I'm going to measure a bust measurement. A bust is what 45. 45 divided by four will give you what 10 and a half, and um, 45 divided by that's 11 and quarter. That's the measurement of 45 divided by 4, 11 and quarter. When you minus, this is, let's say this is 11 and quarter. Are you seeing it? You don't need to add any measurement to it. So even without 11 and quarter, I'm going to minus 1 from the 11 and quarter. It gives me what, 10 and quarter. Are you seeing it? So I do not even add any allowance to it. Um... The chalk I'm using is not that bright, so I have to stop the video because of that. So now, the bust measurement I said is um, 45 divided by 4, which is um, 11 and quarter. So I'm using, I'm, I will, you minus 1 from that 11 and quarter. It gives you what, 10 and quarter. Can you see? That is 10 and quarter. You don't really need to add any allowance to it, to your lycra. You don't need to hurt. Just watch what I'm doing now. You can see it is a stretchy material. See? It will surely stretch more than see, 13 and a half, which is 52. And the boss I'm working on is what's 45. So for your if you are sewing a lycra material, hmm, you can just reduce one 
two inches from your normal measurement so that it will give you the perfection or else you'll be adjusting 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 like me i don't like adding allowance to my to to the clothes i'm sewing if i'm sewing a lycra material i don't like adding allowance to heat so now on top of this uh, ten and a quarter i'm going to cut out all you need to do is just to join the shoulder and also join the side and weave the down part of it and as you can see the clothes we are working on is a collar standing collar neck um, style so you just have to do your neckline if on a normal uh, on a normal day if i want to do my collar if it is not a lycra material i'm going to use two and a half by three if you watch one of my videos, I made a peplum top which I did a standing color, and on that I used two and a half by three inches. But as you can see, this is a lycra material which is drawing, so I can't use that two and a half, it will be too white for the neck and it will not make it firm, also. So I'm going to use what two inches for the neck line for the wideness of the neck, and also use 2.5 for the down part of the neck. Why? Because I want it to be too firm, and again, it is a what a lycra material so for the back side of it i'm going to put um i'm going to use two by one inches for the back side and also put a slit as in a kind of line like four inches five inches line at the back side so i'm going to end my neck with button so just watch and see after cutting i'm going to cut the back also the same way but before i do that i'm going to slant this shoulder side with at least three quarter inches one inch half inch the fence on you i do use three quarter i do use one i do use um half inches to slant my shoulder so from here now i'm going to confirm the neck the length of the gown you make sure you round your confirmation i said i'm using 57 i will round my confirmation please don't mind the chalk i'm using this this, this material that is not allowing the chalk to show clearly but just listening very well to my explanation and I hope you love the outcome if you try cutting this type of style too. So what we need now to do is just to cut. You see, now let's check our half length measurements so that you know that it is a free gown. Our normal waist measurement is 42, that's 10.5. You can see I do not have any waist measurement. I will leave it like this just to join the side alone. So she's going to use this band to pack it after sewing. I will show you the finishing product after I'm through. As you can see, just let's do the cutting so that you can see clearly what I'm cutting because of the shock that is not showing very clearly. So I did not cut, I cut away that half inch because I don't need it. I only use the normal measurements of the boss, which I said is 10 and quarter. Are you seeing it? I did not add anything to it because it will still draw. So I'm showing you the cutting side so that you will see what I'm cutting because of the chalk that is not visible enough. So, this is the way I will place the back. This is the way I will place the back side of the clothes too. The same way, I'm going to cut it out the same way. I will show you after cutting. For the back side, you can see, that's the place I cut the front side. All you need to do, you can see I'm doing it from the front because I want to manage it and also get what I'm going to use for the back. You just have to fold your back side this way too you can see you don't need to use another side just to manage the clothes you can see it should do then you place you place the other one the front side on it Use the front and back part um, of the clothes you can see so for the neck side which i said I'm going to be using two inches for the wideness and one inch for the length of the back side. Why for the front side 
I'm going to be using two and a half for the length why two inches for the wideness of the next side then sorry i'll move it are you seeing it so now the first thing you can see the boots are on top of each other the first thing is to cut the back side the um, back side which is this you now remove the front then open this um open this back then you open this back by four or five inches i think four inches is okay you open this by four inches i see this It's okay that way. So, for the front side, you open it this way. Then you can see the front side just cut it with the length of 2.5 inches. Then what I'm going to do now is to take it to take it to my machine. I will tape it. I'll tape that next side. I think this is. A good strap for that slit I did for the next side this I'll use this to do this you can see the way I'm going to put it I'm going to put it from the back I'll turn it this way turn it like this then turn it backward easy to tape the back and also join the shoulder I will show you Join the next side. I've joined the next side. I've done this. Join the side also. So now I want to do the neck, this the collar. So all you need to do is just to take your tape and measure around the curve of the neck. So whatever you get is your measurement for the standing collar, for the collar side, for the turtle neck. So this is 6.5. I'm getting. If you draw it a little, you can simply get seven inches same it but the 6.5 is okay you can see it's because i'm drawing it that's why it's getting more that's why it's expanding so with the 6.5 so 6.5 into two will give us what that's 13 inches so with half inches six 6.5 plus half for turning it it gives me what seven um 14 inches which is seven so i the wideness of this total neck is just two and a half and I only want to fold it in a bias form. It's 2.5, 2.5, 2.5. Let me chuck it out. Let me make sure. It's... So now I'll just take it to the machine, sew this place and leave half inch here. Sew this place and leave half inch here. I will show you what it looks like after joining it. So, Mama thought the machine. Mama. Now I've joined the turtle neck. As you can see, I've joined the neck side. I've put the button, the two button strap, so that it will be easy for the person to wear it. You can see the four inches oh i did at the back and i put button so you can see the beauty you can just leave it if you like it as an armless is okay but i'm still going to put the sleeve and show you how to make the sleeve are you seeing it see how lovely how amazing it is so give me some thumbs up don't forget to continue liking comment and subscribe so i'll show you how to put the sleeve I'll show you how to cut, then I'll show you how, how it looks like after, it, it looks like after joining the sleeve. So stay tuned. So for the sleeve side now, I'm going to fold my foot. You can see this is it. I'm going to use the stretchy, the most stretchy part of it. So I'll just fold it, fold it into two. 
Those songs. I just need to see. Okay. No, it's too wide. You adjust it. So after I've gotten the folding, all I need to do is to straighten. You can see here is not straight. I'm going to straighten that side that is not straight. Then after I measure the length of the sleeve which I'm using. 23 inches with one inch i'm going to use to fold the down part making 24 <laughs> inches so i'm going to curve it i'm going to fold it down here and also bring it down by three inches you know it's a stretching material without measurement i'm going to use nine inches for a ham to to go the wideness will go down so that it will be smart on her the nine inches is okay it's okay for the sleeve then curve it down you can see sorry my truck is not that bored so for this uh curve for the arm curve you can see it's stretchy i'm going to use five inches which will become four and a half after sewing even that four and a half for me it is too wide but i can see use four inches just let me see what it looks like after sewing so now i'll connect from here downward are you saying it and connect it downward then cut it out let's see what it looks like so, are you saying it? here comes the finishing product of our flag gown with turtleneck. I'm sorry, my my phone was full, so I don't know. I wanted to show you how I make the sleeve. So now, I finish putting the sleeve. As you can see, the bust of this person is more than the bust of my dummy. The bust of the client is 45. That that is the reason why the armor is big this way. And you can see the sleeve is longer than the uh the dummy's sleeve but when the person that holds the clothes put it on i'm very sure it will be very okay on her you can see how the neck can't you see how sweet it is how lovely it is you can see so that's the end of the cutting of our flare gown with total neck so don't forget to continue liking comment share and subscribe thank you